Hey, hey, Brewsters, how's it going? Hearst Quasar here. Welcome back to my channel and another demo that we're going to give it a try. Um, this is called Brew Pub Simulator. Now, I did do one. I did do this uh, back a couple of months ago. Oh, I was pretty rough, pretty uh, uh, new, and this is still fairly new, but I had the opportunity to uh, give some input on it, and they actually sent me a key. So I've got this key that we're going in and we're playing it. And once the game goes live in July, I believe it's like late July, um, I'll have the full game up and running. So it does have some options as far as uh, decorating the place, which is really cool. Um, some of the people walk in with horse heads, which is pretty funny. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take a dive at it and see how they've changed it from the last time they've done it. So we're going to hit the new game and we're going to let it run through for a little bit and go through the whole storyline. Um, and let's go. Yes, that's me. No, not the fruit of Einstein's loins. I'm the one in the back, the handsome one. My education ended faster than my family wished, but it still lasted too long for my taste. What I got out of college was mostly furniture for my cluttered apartment. Well, and acquaintances for life. I had already resigned myself to being back under my mother's wing when I received a letter from California. It smelled of hops and dirty rag and evoked a vague memory of a lost tradition. The letter was written by my grandpa's lawyer. The old guy died alone, which is not surprising because his only love was brewing beer. He even claimed that our family came from a long line of master brewers from Europe, something like Assassin's Mead. So, get this, my grandpa left me in charge of his bar. And let me tell you, this could be my big break. I'll pay off my family and prove to them who deserves to be called the Beer King of California. But I think I'll start by some hard cleaning and scraping the mold off the ceiling. <laughs> so there we go. The fun facts. They did keep the fun facts in there. Crafted beer is the way more prized than commercial beer. That is fact. Crafted beer is better, way better than commercial beer. I can tell you that for a fact. At least I drink nothing but crafted beer. If my watch is running well, you should have just arrived at our beautiful town. Lucky for you, the brew pub is located across the street. Without further ado, my name is Harvey, and I am your family's lawyer. Your grandfather transferred this beautiful bar to you. However, there's one catch. Your grandfather wrote a list of requirements that you must fulfill in order to fully own the bar. After completing a specific requirement, I will get in touch with you and give you instructions for the next task. Okay, let's start from the top of the list. Get the bar ready to open. Don't worry, I'm sure that when you enter the venue, your brewing inner sense inherited from your grandfather will jump start and you will know what to do. Brewing inner sense, you say? I see I've got a lot of work to do, but I'm sure it'll be interesting. Let's take a closer look. Uh, All right. The glamorous life of a bartender. Come on. Right, we're taking out the trash, getting this place ready. Is there any more trash out here? No. Okay, look at this place. All right, one of the things you have to note is that the jukebox does have like a radio mode. Now, the radio mode uh, does have some copyrighted material on it. That's why I don't have anything rolling on it right now. So just so you know, I don't have any music going because of that. Right, so um, just to let you know, there is music in it, but uh, I just choose not to have it in here. I don't want to copyright uh, copyright strike against me just for some silly music. Um, let's see, like that, got beer bottles. Anything else in here? Ooh, got some trash over there. So this bar looks pretty much the same. Now, the beginning of the other one. Um, my last episode of Brew Pub Simulator. We actually trash taken out. Time to start cleaning the dirt. I don't know what he's talking about. I still got I guess still got trash all over the place. There we go. And good for two. Okay, get some of this stuff out of here. Uh, nothing there. 
had. We got to clean up some things here. Uh, mop and wiping. So I gotta get the materials over here. So yeah, you get a mop. And... By hey. the lords of food poisoning and cat piss, I have the sweeping power. <laughs> what the hell is that about? <laughs> uh, by the lords of food poisoning and cat piss. No. Floors are really nice in here. I like the wood floors in here. Now, how I'm going to decorate it is going to be... You know, I'd like to have it kind of modern, but... I kind of like the whole brick thing myself. Uh, what do we got here? Something else we have to do. Huh. Grandpa always used to say that the bar is like a canvas, and... I don't remember the rest, but maybe he meant painting the walls. Okay. So now, uh, pick up the material changer, which is out here. So this is a material changer, right? Um, this will give you different materials a for different walls. Vision. Let's hope the customers appreciate the abstract look. Yeah, so I open up I, we get the material changer so I can go brick wall. I go control, I can get, uh, like, this is the floors. Brick walls. I really, uh, I really like the whole brick wall scene. I mean, it's kind of done, but I like it, right? Ooh, that's not what I wanted right there. Did not expect that. Okay, hang on. That's going to have to get changed. Okay, let's go. Jeez. That was not, that's not I cool. forgot to tell you, I received a package for you. There should be some useful things in there. So we'll go with concrete, concrete ceiling. That's good. Looks like concrete there. Go ahead and do. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, brick wall. There we go. All right. So now we've got uh, brick wall. Thanks to our regional ninja couriers, the package should already be with you. All right. So I can get the package. Got everything decorated. I think I like. I like the whole brick and. Uh, I like the whole brick and wood look. So let's go out here. Got that. Okay, we got chairs. What do we have here? Perfect. Exactly what I need right now. Alright, so we're going to unlock this. We're going to get... This is a chair. Uh, let's see. Hide inventory, toggle grid mode, rotate. Is control and hold. Okay. Uh... Let's put it right there. Go ahead and get in our chairs. Control. Control. Yeah, this is a little bit easier than what I was used to, but... Naming a bar is like naming a child. You right. want it to be unique, memorable, and not end up in therapy. <laughs> not end up in therapy. All right, so we get to name our place. So this is, we get to name our logo. Oh man, I, I like, uh, oh, I like this. Randomize logo. Oh, I love that it's square. Why is, um, dive bar casual or fancy? Uh, create your dive bar. Visitors will not have high expectations regarding the quality of the beer and the cleanliness. Casual. Create a casual bar. Visitors will expect a good balance between beer quality and the price. We'll also pay attention to whether the premises are kept clean or fancy. Um, I, I'm, 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 I'm into casual. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So we've got Backgrounds. Okay, here we go. Backgrounds. Um, I really like, kind of like the shield look. I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with the hops. I believe the hops color is gonna be orange. My background is gonna be kind of. Well, you know what? I'm not liking how that looks. So 
maybe... Yeah, maybe that. Okay, so now the ribbon. I want the ribbon to be yellowish. Uh, and my text. Quasar. And let's see, what do I want as far as that? I'm going to go with the Kulim Park. Black. All right, so that's just part of it. Oh, look at that. That is freaking beautiful, I just bro. remembered something. Recently, an old friend of your grandpa's brought some beer to the brewery for him to try. Prove your worth as a brewer by selling this beer down to the very last drop. Free beer? Ready to serve? How suspiciously convenient. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so... Okay, I have the beer. Now I just need to hook it up to the tap. Okay, so we got that. Put the connection tube. Uh, so we're going to look at keg to the tap. Done. Boom, boom, now and something done. tells me that I should add the beer to the menu. Up here in the menu, we will add it. American Pale Ale. Ooh. Uh, what is that? What did that say? I find. Okay. There we go. This is not giving me how long custom something I don't know. Uh, can I? Yeah, okay, that's good. Can't name it or anything. That so should do go. it. All right. Okay, I have the beer, but I still need something to serve it in. All right, so now we got to go to... Pouring beer directly into mouths is not an option. At least not until spring break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very funny. Um, let's get ourselves some glasses. And I really like these Wesen... Wesen? Glasses right there. Here we go. All righty. Here's our tablet. Pick up my package. See, before, I had to make the beer. Now I got free beer, so that's good. Uh, let's go my inventory, glasses. Boom. Get ready, folks. The party's about to start. All right. Or, to be specific, a seven-hour shift. Close enough. <laughs> yeah, seven-hour shift. All right. All right. Look at the sign. Press the last mouse button to open. We are open, Looks like it's going to be a busy night. Better brace yourself for the beer tsunami. Beer tsunami. <laughs> All right, so what we have in here, we have a dishwasher, which is actually pretty cool. Okay, take the um, glass, pour the beer, and serve it to the customer. Don't be shy. Piece of cake, right? Beer, air, fill it up, and 500 milliliters is all you've got. And boom, right there. All right. Another. Start the tap. Click. Go. Don't drink anything cheap. <laughs> Which tells me she's a cheap person. There you go. Have a nice day. <laughs> she's having a good time over there. It's what the hell? Did you just break something over there? What's up? What's up? Okay. Right. Let's go over here. She broke the glass. Darn. What? I definitely need to clean this glass. A dirty glass in a pub is like a fly in the soup in a restaurant. Okay, pick up the dirty glass. And... Usually you could put it right here. And doom. Done. Done. Hey, hey, young lady. You need another one? Night. 
bad. There you go. All right. Pick up dirty glass. All right. I picked up a dirty glass. It is not giving me. It's not giving me the, the go ahead afterwards. So this is. I think I'm stuck. So yeah, the game is not ready for me to play yet. It looks like. Okay. Picked up. Dirty glass. Oh, that was bad. Dropped it. Jeez. Okay, so I'm down, down a couple of glasses now. Jeez. All right. Uh, I'm in trouble. It's not. Used a sink. What sink? I've been using. Use the sink, she says. Okay, use the sink. So, uh, okay, I don't understand that. I can't get rid of the glass. Go. I got it unstuck. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, ready to go. Customer rated five and five. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, let me clean you up. Hey, how you doing? As Joey would say, how you doing? <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, this isn't a coffee shop, so Joey wouldn't be in here. But if you remember, the coffee shop used to be a bar. Ah, okay. Um, two clean glasses. <laughs> How are we doing here? Looks like we're pretty clean on the floor. I've had nothing but women come in here. I don't think I had any dudes come in here. Which is actually... Well, I guess cleaning in a bar is part of the profession. Yep, I guess it is. Okay, so we've got... I think we've got the horse head. Hilarious. Hilarious. Okay. Uh, my first dude. Dude, what you need? What you need, Joe? One beer. You are welcome. Funny face you got there. Look like an alien. Is, is that dude an alien? <laughs> I know women are from Venus, men are from Mars, but hey. Hey, that's not getting washed right. Okay. Yep, that's still... Yeah, that's still not right. So let's try this. Let's see if that will... Okay. Nope, still dirty. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so. Okay. Doesn't tell me how to pour it out. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. This is not the way I thought things were. Oh man, I got a mess here. Okay, this is not working out. <sighs> okay. Get that taken care of. Get that taken care of. Yes, sir. Oh, I've got a line out the door here. All right. So much for all my glasses. I've broken two. There you go. And one of them will not clean. This one will not clean. Yeah, it's not. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Well, that kind of cures that. <laughs> I don't have to. I may have to buy some more glasses. Oh, that one cleaned up. 
I may have to buy some more glasses. Let's see if I can open up my thing here. Let's buy another one. Order those. There you go. Um, because I'm breaking them quicker. Let's see. I've broke two. A customer's broken one. And one of them just would not... Just would not clean up, so... You need a you need a beer, bro? We're at five. Okay, cool. Uh ah. Yeah, it's a good thing I've got glasses coming in. Um this is here. Okay. Open up my inventory. Glasses. Okay, let's uh, let's talk. Looking for a place to hide. My mother-in-law came to town. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, you can leave, bro. Your mother-in-law is not going to come in here. That's for sure. All right, so we got a bar stool. We got a round table. Ooh, darts. Love darts. So we're going to keep continuing on here. Okay, keep the level at the earliest level under 50%. Rewards 25 bucks. Okay. All right. Yeah, my glasses are in bad shape here, so. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, are we open? Yeah, we're open. Uh, I think we are good to go. We sell the remaining beer. Okay, we will sell the remaining beer. <sighs> Got 2.68 liters. There's not a whole lot left in here. I have nobody coming in. That's interesting. The heck happened? Or get out on the street or something? Uh, what the heck? Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And I'm waiting some more. No tips. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we may have an issue here because nothing seems to be happening. Um, Out back here. Let me just play around here. We have the alleyway here a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's, it's not letting me. All right. Well, let me see if I can close it and reopen it. So let's go. It says open the bar. Looks like it's going to be a busy night. Better brace yourself for the beer tsunami. Ah, okay. Well, it said... Okay, so I guess I had to reopen it. All right, cool. They did not tell me that. Oh, my doors are a little messed up. Hey, bro, what's up? Beer? This is what they call the beer tsunami. There you go, bro. Have a good one. Did I just not serve you? Almost the same shirt. What's up, bro? How's life been treating you? All right. With that. How much beer do I have left? 1.64 liters. All right. Of course. Go. Ready? All right. What's up? All right, sir. So. I saw something somewhere. Trash. 
I don't know where it was. Um, I don't know. Okay, so that. This guy was at the bathroom now. He wants another beer. All right. There you go, sir. Oh, sorry, sir. I am all out. <laughs> yep, I don't have enough beer. So, that's all I've got. That's all I've got for you. The keg is empty. I think the customers will understand if I close the place a little earlier. Yep. So, yep. I'm going to have to close. All right. So, reputation. Okay, so we've got some things. All right. Keg is empty. We've uh, done all that. Don't let any. I customer... have to be careful and watch over the beer fountain. I don't want the customers to burn me at the stake. Burn me at the stake. <laughs> okay, so it's that. Let's clean this place up a little bit and see if there's anything that's been cleaned. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're in pretty good shape. Um. Uh, open the bar. Why am I opening the bar? I have no beer. Looks like it's going to be a busy night. Better brace yourself for the beer tsunami. Um. Okay, so I got to close the bar. All right, so we opened it and closed it. I have no idea what's going on here. All right. Um. Okay, there we go. Finally, we've got some... I heard that the bar is inviting customers again for a good old pint. That means you completed the first challenge from the old man. Huh. Go figure. You've proven that you have a good head on your shoulders. We can move on to the next challenge on the list. All right, so what's next? Hey, you, come here. <laughs> this guy. I've been watching you since you arrived. I see potential in you. I left something for you in the parcel locker. You'll figure out the rest on your own. That's all I've got for you for now. Now go away and make people happy. Okay, that was something. <laughs> it was something. Okay, so at least this guy has a purpose, man. I got a, I got a recipe, American Pale Ale. There we go. Now we get to make some beers. All right, we've got our inventory. We've got a pot go we've got uh yeast we've got light malt extract and we have hops ah looks like they may have let's see if i get control does that rotate it yes it does all right it's a floral and citrusy hops Navigate to the tabs, recipes. There we go, American Pale Ale. We're going to pin that recipe. There we go. Go. Pick up the pot. Okay, so now we have 5.30 liters of water, 1.3 liters of light malt extract, 10 grams of hops, and 5 milliliters of yeast. So there we go. So we need... 5.30, right? We'll get as close as possible. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we got that. Uh, light malt extract. Uh, 1.3 kilograms. Wait a minute. 1.3 kilograms or 1.3 liters. Alright. So this is... It has liters, so it has uh, let's see, one point three meters. One, two, one, two. There we go. Go for the light malt extract. Now for the bag of hops. Hops. I need ten. Ten. 10 kilograms of that, so we'll add that down to 10 
10 grams or yeah, 10 grams. Cascade hops. <laughs> Cascade hops. Done. All right. Now turn on the stove. 60 minutes. Turn off the stove when it cools down. Uh, okay, so we have to bring up the temperature. Is that the right one? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we're going to watch the temperature. We're going to bring it to a boil. At 100 degrees Celsius. All right? And let it boil for 60 minutes. Uh, where's my timer at? Oh, there it is. Boiling for 9 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to boil it for 60 minutes. And then we're going to shut it off. So this is where I was like coming into play, right? And if I get into this more and more, I do have a recipe in here somewhere. So I can't wait for the full game so I can go in here and just kind of mix it up with all kinds of different beers. Try to figure out how to do things. I'm really interested in it. And I think it would be quite fun. But um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the whole storytelling piece of it. Um, I kind of liked it the way it was. I kind of liked the way it was kind of basic that way. But hey, um, I do like the in, I like the way these guys are doing it. Um, very uh, creative, so I'm good with that. All right, we're at 55 minutes. We're going to wait to 60 minutes, and then we are going to shut the stove off. We are at 60. We're going to shut the stove off. All right, now we're going to let that thing cool down to 21 degrees Celsius. in five grams of yeast so now we gotta grab the yeast and we gotta put five grams of yeast ah, five grams and I've got milliliters so that's messed up guys um, okay all right so that's done all right now we pick up the pot we are going to transfer this into the bucket Slowly. Ooh, look at the coloring on that. All right. All right. Now we have the bucket. Clean that up over here. Now we uh, toggle the lid. Look at that. Ooh, ooh look at 6.3% alcohol. Um, transfer to the bucket. And we are going to ferment. All right. Uh, the SRM is like the color. Uh, 5.0. Very cool. Um, exciting for days. Cool down days. American Pale Ale. All right. Cool. Uh, enter to edit the beer. So this is going to be uh, Quasar's Pale Ale. So we're going to go... That didn't work out, right? Uh, Quasar Pale Ale. There we go. Um, we're going to edit the label on this bad boy. Um, we are going to go with logos of the hops. Um, because this is a nice golden brown, we're going to go with that. Um, our background, we're going to go with a shield. Uh, we're going to go dark green on the background with the text being black. Um, that works. That or that. That works. Okay, background. Ribbon. My ribbon. Uh, we'll go with that. Ribbon color is going to be yellow. There we go. <laughs> nice. Uh, my price is going to be five ninety, huh? Uh, we'll go for six bucks. We'll see that it's a nicer, it's a nicer, um, you know, nicer I'm something than of a brewer last. myself. I can assess the potential of beer and the brewer just by smelling. I think you can even make some money from this beer. Yeah, I think I can too. That's all I've got for you for now. Now go away and make people happy. Go away. Yeah, go away and make people happy. Okay. So I believe this guy has some backstory. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. 
All right, so now what we are going to anyway, do is we're going to have to transfer ready. that. I need to transfer it to the keg, connect it, add it to the menu, and people will be able to taste the fruits of my labor. Okay. Uh, place the objects, pick up the fermenter, disconnect the beer keg. I've got to disconnect that. So that is... Okay, look at that. Um, oh, hang on. Let me grab that bucket to keg. We've transferred it. How about that, right? Okay, so we're going to disconnect the hose here. There we go. Do that. Connect up. Let's put my bucket back over here. Where'd my bucket go? Well, let's put my bucket put it back over here. There we go. Um, now we got to go to the menu. Put it on the menu. Yes, look at that. Oh, 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 oh the Quasar Pale Ale. Yes. Nice. All right. Get three client reviews rated 5.5 five for 15 bucks. I'm only getting 15 bucks. I've got 114 bucks, which is that's actually pretty cool. Uh, look at that label. Look at that label. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. 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 Okay. I think I've got everything done. Uh, yeah, I think I am ready to open up shop. Wonder I help me help you new mail from the tablet for the email. Uh, email. All right, hey kiddo. Not long ago, I used to collaborate with your grandfather. Here's the situation: a small charity gathering is coming soon. There will be catering, but unfortunately, the champagne has gone missing under suspicious circumstances. Can you arrange five liters of lemon-flavored beer to accompany the food? Uh. Five liters. Wow. I'm looking at all this stuff. All these are all my beers. Not cheap. Beers not cheap. Beers not cheap. They don't like my beer. It's not cheap. Um, okay. So how do I get five liters? Lemony, huh? Lemon flavored beer. Hmm. I can accept it, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Right. So, uh, expands the bar cost. Oh my God. That's 10,000 bucks to expand. Yikes. That's, that's, huh. yeah, that's not going to happen for a while. All right. It's time for the next stage of your training. Freestyle. Okay. Freestyle. When you are ready, place the keg with beer inside the delivery locker near the bar's entrance. Okay. You only live once. So why not try adding some flavor? I left something for you in the parcel locker. Okay, cool. Um, there's nothing in the parcel locker, sir. There's nothing there. Um... Add this ingredient right after the beer has cooled down. Hey. Okay. Have nothing. Let's look at my inventory. Do I have anything? Uh, supplies. No, I have nothing. The outcome may surprise you. Use the locker. Okay. That's all I've got for you for now. Now go away and make people happy. Go away and make people happy. I do not have anything, sir. I don't know. Oh, there it is. All right. There we go. All right. So now I've got to make beer. So I've got beer already. Okay. So let's open up our ingredients. Um, ooh, lemon. Okay. So lemon. Get some malt. I got another connection tube. We got another keg. Nice. Okay. So lemon. Okay. So we've got the lemon. Got the malt extract. Uh, got another connection tube, which I'm going to have to use. That's cool. Um, and, oh, another keg. Nice. All right, cool. Um, all right, so I've got that. Got that. All right. Um, let's go to my inventory. Let's go to my tablet. Let's go to recipes, right? 
So what I'm going to do is make the same type of stuff, right? But um, after it cools down, I have to add some to it. Hmm. All right. So we're going to we're going to try this. Um, Okay, so 5.3 again. Let's see if I'll get lucky this time. Ooh, not so lucky. But a little bit. Alright, now we're going to pick up the light malt extract. I've got 200 in there. I've got 1.5 in there. Um, we are going to add 1.3. So that's 1, 2, one, two, three. Right, so I got that. Uh, pick up the bag of hops. Where's my hops at? Okay, my hops is 10 grams. So we're going to put 10 grams in there. And then turn on the stuff. Oof, got to get that out of the way. Oh, oh, get up here. All right, so now what we're going to do is make a lemon, lemon flavored beer. I got 200 in that and probably 200 in that. So instead of the yeast, get the lemon flavor. Let that boil for 60 minutes. So how much do I use of this? Uh, there's 100 grams in it. I'm going to say maybe 25 grams. What do you think? I don't think it actually told me. Maybe this will tell me. All right, it's going to get 60, 25 grams of lemon extract. That shouldn't be too bad, right? Shut that down. Let that thing cool down to 21. Gonna have to add the yeast. There we go. Okay, add the yeast. Yeast. I have to add uh, five. Five of the yeast. Now, lemon, I think, let's see, 5 grams, 10 grams, 15, ooh, um, let's go, um, try 10 grams, I think that's going to be enough, actually, so we're going to try 10 grams, alright, got a lid over here, Another lid, Bucket. Ooh, yeah. Uh, I said ten grams of dried lemons to the fermenting bucket. Ah, oh, I already put it in. Okay. I already put five grams in it. That's going to be really, really soury. <laughs> it's just going to be, it's going to be really soury. Um, what can I say? Okay, now just a little bit of patience. All right. So now. I should probably focus on managing my establishment while waiting for the beer to mature. Okay, so that's what the thing is. Okay, so you have to wait for the beer to ferment. All right, uh, citrus, sour. Okay, um, we are going to do a uh, uh, Q U A Y quasar sour ale. There we go. Um, we'll keep it at five ninety. I'm going to edit the label up. We are going to go, I think I'm going to go with that. Um, the lemon, or the 
logo, I should say, should go with uh, hmm. lemon. I actually don't know. We'll go with that. The logo is going to be a dark green. Everything's going to be like let's see, background text black. Um, and I'm going to go with uh, no that ribbon is going to be that. Okay, we'll go with that right there. Confirm. All right. All right. Yeah, that is that thing ready to go. Okay. I did all that already. I'm not going to. Okay. Maybe I can. Let's see here. Um, did my beer ferment? I don't know. Okay. Let's disconnect that. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take this. Let's see if I can stick it out there in the... Oh, sorry, sir. I think it's done. All right, I think I got that done. All right. Okay, I don't have anything here, so we are good. I think this is all kind of jacked up. Hang on. There we go. Hope my craft beer creation will be enough. That took it a little bit. Formation bucket. I got another bucket. Yay! Got another bucket. Um, is it is in my inventory? No, it's not. Okay, send a keg using the delivery locker. Done. Uh, collaborating with the mayor could be an opportunity for the development of. Yep, could be. Receive a positive response from the mayor. If you fail, don't worry. You can try again via emails, apps. Okay. But I put it in there. Okay, I should have sent it. So I should have, it should have been sent. It's waiting. I don't know what the deal is. Just kind of waiting. Um, okay, what do we do in the meantime? I can probably just go ahead and let's go ahead and take the bucket off there. Got beer there. Got hose there. Go ahead and open up shop. I guess I'm just trying to get this thing to go. Let's see here. Maybe I don't have another shank. Uh, receive a positive response from the mayor. I don't understand. Let's 
Use locker. Send. All right. Done what I can. Don't know what else there is to do. Okay, I guess. Um, I open up shop. I have no idea. <laughs> Just... Looks like it's gonna be a busy night. Better All brace right. yourself for the beer tsunami. Okay, I got a hundred bucks. How did I know that? Carson was a park's worth the fight. But, huh? Good work. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so that was it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Brew Pub Simulator. So we kind of made it through it. It seemed like there's a few things that kind of made it goofy that I could. you had to try to figure out. But all in all, not too bad. I think they've made some vast improvements in it. And I cannot wait for the full game. So that will make that will be it for me. First Quasar and her brewmaster. Till the next time. By late July, we'll have another one going. See you later. This is Hearst Quasar saying, have a drink on me. I'm out.